Begin with that decision just in the last half hour about Georgia Clark. She fought for her job back after Fort Worth ISD removed her from the classroom over some tweets. Aaron Jones, live for us now in Fort Worth. And Aaron, what did they end up deciding here? Well, Ken, after nearly two hours of discussion, they really didn't decide anything. Instead, deciding to push back their discussion on Georgia Clark's employment in the next 10 days, they will host a special meeting to decide what their next move will be. Now, this all comes from back in June when they voted in favor of terminating her after a series of alleged anti immigration tweets to President Donald Trump and in class incidents. One tweet said, I really do need a contact here in Fort Worth who should be actively investigating and removing illegals. An independent examiner recommended the school board. Its proposed term termination is not justified, citing Clark said her tweets were free speech and the in-class incidents did not occur. Tonight, the public reacted. And now to even think that they're going to give her her job back is disgusting. If you accept the ruling by the hearing examiner, then you are giving three privileged white males all the power to determine what equity and inclusion looks like in our district. And we did request interviews tonight with both the superintendent and the school board president. We told that they're not commenting on this and to wait for that special meeting. Reporting live in Fort Worth tonight, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.